I was at work today and somebody came in, an older woman came in and she immediately was really excited about her new kitten. And I was excited for her. I mean, new kitten, exciting, new pet. Who doesn't love that? Unfortunately, as soon as I started the exam of the kitten, I was like, oh my gosh, something is wrong with this kitten. Literally just touching her, hearing her meow, the way the woman described her, she was like, she's such a calm kitten. She's so sweet. And as soon as somebody says that a kitten is calm at like six to seven weeks, it sets off alarm bells in my head. Obviously the vet examined her and something was wrong. Something is very clearly wrong with her. She's sick. They were saying that they think it might be coccidia. The vet obviously offered like humane euthanasia because the owner immediately was saying that she can't afford it. And then they brought up the idea of surrendering her because there were staff members who could take care of the kitten. And you know me, of course. I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this, but also like... You can't euthanize a kitten, one. Two, it really is like the best option for the owner to decide, you know what, I am not what's best for this kitten and I love it too much to see that happen, so I'm gonna give it to somebody who can take care of it. And I am in full support of owners doing that. I think it's like the best decision that you can make and it's really selfless to do. So say hello to the little baby. I know, mama, I know. We're gonna go home in a bit. Hi, mama. I know, she seems like she's in good spirits. I have most of the needed supplies and I'm hoping that if I talk to the shelter, they may take it, but if not, I'm just gonna have to do like everything out of pocket. Luckily, she's already spayed. How wild is that though, that I like just came home with the kitten and my husband doesn't know, so let's see how he reacts. I just met up with Matthew because we had to do something with the kids and he's gonna see the kitten. Matthew, come here, come look, come look. You it's a kitten. That's not a cat. No, it's not. It's a kitten. She's only two pounds. What's wrong with her eyes? Look, isn't she so no, cute? No. What do you mean what's wrong with her eyes? Something else. I think she's dying. She has small ass I eyes. What's wrong see. with her face? I think she's dying. I told you. That's why I said I think she might die. Okay, I know. You don't have to look at me like that. I know the prognosis. It's the next day. We brought the kitten home. We got her set up. I put her obviously in the bathroom because we're keeping her isolated. She got medication last night. She got fluids through the night. And now I have to give her today's medication. A little bit more fluids kind of to touch her up. I think she still needs them for a bit. She feels pretty dehydrated. But honestly, she's eating. Her poop looks um, decent, which is shocking because it was straight liquid yesterday. Good morning, pretty girl. Good morning. Good morning, mama. Is that poop poop? Hi. Oh, she's a purring queen. Good girl. Oh, she doesn't feel as like horribly dehydrated. Also, we definitely overfilled this. I have to clean it up. Come here, mama. Let's give you your medication. Let's give you your medicine. Let's give you your medicine. I don't know if I'm gonna keep her name or anything like that because um, I kind of like to give the kittens a new fresh start when they come to me. I don't like to keep the old name just because, again, I think that they deserve a fresh start. Okay, so that's medicine one. And now time for fluids. How does your bum look? Oh, you're not leaking poo-poo. Yeah, I really just want her to kind of have a fresh life. I'm going to do this slow. She's probably going to get Go. She is still pretty dehydrated, so I think I'm actually going to give her a little bit of extra fluids. Um, also, I think she's losing hair. Are you losing hair? I think maybe it's just like nutrition. I just finished giving her everything. Um, her poop looks really good. So I'm honestly like to an extent not really sure what's going on with her because I thought she was losing hair. It's not. It looks like it's just a shadow. Her poop looks really good today. She is still crazy dehydrated. Like I think I'm gonna have to really give her like continuous fluids all day. So I don't really know what's going on with her. But I mean, it's fairly normal to kind of just not know right now. Um, I mean, I just got her. I haven't had enough time with her to kind of work with her. So we'll see. We'll see what her next update is. So stay tuned. I'll post another update to kind of see what's up with her. Our other kittens were adopted. We have two kittens left, Hope and George. And Hope and George are still going to be with us for probably like another two weeks. They're holding around like the pound and a half stage and they need to be at 2.5 pounds. So that's exciting. And I think Hope even may have an adopter. George is the only one that's left that doesn't. I'm really excited that the shelter agreed to take this girl. It's been really nice to have a kind of more chill foster experience now that kitten season is kind of past us. So we have like the more sickly things, which 
but it is what it is. Hopefully we can get this girl cleaned up and stay tuned because we'll post an update about her.